Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. A book that has caused a lot of controversy of pandas in people. This is meant to be a case for intelligent design for not just Christian schools and not just private schools, but for public school curriculum. I'm not sure if it's able, it maybe Louisiana, Texas, Kansas, somewhere. I'm not sure if it's in any public schools right now. But uh, it's, a, it's an overtly intelligent design book, and it does also, I'll show you a table of contents, cast doubt on Darwinian evolution. It was never meant to be the exclusive textbook. They just wanted equal access, that if evolution was going to be taught, then this could be taught as well. So of pandas and people, the central question of biological origins. This is second edition. This is a 2005 copyright. I think it normally, it originally came out in like the 80s. So the origin of life, the belief was called spontaneous generation. Of course, of course Louis Pasteur um, disproved spontaneous generation. <coughs> it's an excellent textbook. <clears throat> now, of course, if you're a Darwinian evolutionist, you're not going to think it's an excellent textbook. But it shows the design of everything, not just in astronomy and not just the symbiosis of the world around us, but of individuals and that different systems within individuals, such as DNA and the different systems of the human body, even the procreative systems, that there, it had to be creation. But since the whole world lies in wickedness, then the whole world believes a lie on uh, that particular doctrine. Always believe the scriptures. Um, so it's just got so many good things in it. I'm in some places I haven't been in. This is like the Archaeotyrex, homology, how similarity doesn't necessarily mean common origin. It means best design. This was done by Dean Kenyon. So we'll see how many pages this thing is. This is, let's see, it's 163 pages, has Cro-Magnon Man, Richard Dawkins, Ken Deal, Dinosaurs, DNA, it has a whole list of critical reviewers. Let's see. Percival Davis and Dean H. Kenyon, Charles B. Thaxton, academic editor. I'll show you the reviewers. J.P. Moreland was one of the reviewers. Just notice that. I do think our school children should be given um, other sides, especially scientifically presented. This is when the great scientific revolutions happened, whether it was Kepler or Newton or Newtonian physics and uh, other great inventions. They were all Bible believers. And so even the laws of science indicate a law giver that when you have something that's replicatable, it's because there are certain laws, some certain things holding everything into place. So um, excellent biochemical similarities. I have not read this. I desperately want to. I doubt I'll be able to read it in my lifetime, but maybe I will. You never know. But I would highly recommend it, what I've looked through, the recommendations I get about it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hope you would too. At least give it a chance. God bless you in Jesus' name.